hello friends now i'm talking uh, about psm okay i'm reading psm one liners this again given by dr bhatia coaching institute so the credit goes to them okay i just got this from a common group where uh, there are around uh, 300 to 500 people and they share the documents now uh, let me read the very very important points in psm okay there are around uh, 60 okay we'll just read in 10 minutes so mcnaughton rule is concerned with criminal responsibility okay so mcnaughton rule is concerned with criminal responsibility and uh, uh, delusion is a disorder of thought okay delusion is a disorder of thought hallucination is false sense of perception without any external stimulus without any external stimulus if you feel some false perception is called hallucination kleptomania is a type of impulse kleptomania is uh, uh, theft like uh, you just uh, take away things without anyone's knowledge and feel happiness in that and that is an impulse disorder the law of criminal responsibility of an insane person in india is based upon mcnaughton's rule just remember the law of criminal responsibility of an insane person in india is based on mcnaughton's rule okay so the same thing same point first point they repeated again the most common form of hallucination in schizophrenia is auditory so auditory hallucinations are most common in schizophrenia maximum number of days during which a patient can be kept for observation for diagnosis of mental illness is 30 okay beyond 30 you should not keep them to diagnose mental illness recommended number of examinations before certification of mentally ill person is three there should be at least three certifications the indian lunacy act was replaced by mental health act in 1987 so 1987 mental health act came into existence and before it was indian lunacy act in delirium tremens the person is not criminally responsible for his acts see delirium tremens is nothing but uh, confusion so uh, if uh, he does any crime he is not responsible for it testamentary capacity means a mental ability to make a valid will lucid interval is seen in insanity so just remember lucid interval is seen in insanity sections for criminal responsibility or ipc criminal responsibility of mentally ill not liable ipc intoxicated against his will not liable IPC intoxicated voluntarily liable. So this they did not give properly. We will go with IPC sections in uh, uh, other uh, video. Okay. Now anterior horn cells of spinal cord are affected in strychnine poisoning. So anterior horn cells of spinal cord are affected in strychnine poisoning most common posture during a strychnine poison is opisthotonus so opisthotonus is the most common uh, posture okay okay opisthotonus is the most common posture in strychnine poisoning anterior horn cells are uh, affected in strychnine poisoning strychnine poison mimics tetanus okay so there are three bits in strychnine poison anterior horn cells are affected the most common uh, po uh, posture is opisthotonus strychnine um, poison mimics tetanus Fatal dose of Nux vomica is one crushed seed. So Nux vomica, if you eat one crushed seed, the person dies. The antidote for the datura poisoning is physostigmine. Okay, datura physostigmine. Dryness of mouth, dilated pupil, and delirium are seen in poisoning by datura. So what are the symptoms seen by poisoning by datura? The dryness of mouth, dilated pupil, and delirium. The highest concentration of cannabinol is found in caras. Okay. The highest concentration of cannabinol is found in caras. Just remember, caras highest concentration of um, cannabinol. Okay, reefer or pot is related to marijuana. So reefer or pot is related to marijuana. Tetrahydrocannabinol is the active principle of marijuana. Okay, run amok is seen in cases of chronic addiction to cannabis. So run amok is seen with cannabis. Chronic addiction to Cannabis. An addict develops delusions, misleading hallucinations of sight and hearing and feeling of creeping things of grains of sand in the skin. Then he is uh, okay, uh, addicted to cocaine. So we call them as cocaine bugs. Like he 
uh, feels like ants are crawling on the body. So, an addicted uh, addict develops delusions, misleading hallucinations of uh, sight and hearing, and feeling of creeping things of grains of sand in the skin. He is addicted to cocaine. Formica formification, sorry, formication is a type of tactile hallucination. Formication is what I said before, like it, uh, crawling of ants. Okay, and glue sniffing is inhalation of petroleum distillate. What is glue sniffing? It's an inhalation of petroleum and distillate. Glue sniffing is inhalation of uh, petroleum uh, distillate. Okay. Okay. Flashback phenomenon is associated with LST. So flashback phenomenon is associated with LST. These are very important bits and confusing. So I'll, I'm going to repeat it again. So just be with me. Flashback phenomenon is associated with LST. Liquid girl in the urine of addicts of amphetamine. Liquid girl is the urine of addicts of amphetamine okay so just remember or <coughs> oral means gold or in or in is gold i think orium orium is gold okay so orium and amphetamine a a so liquid gold is a addict uh, urine of amphetamine ecstasy a ray of party drug is related to amphetamine ecstasy is related to amphetamine mio mio is a designer drug made from Mephidrone. So, me, 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 me with me, me, it is made from Mephidrone. The sensation of synesthesia, seeing, smells, uh, and hearing colors occurs in LSD. So, sensation of synesthesia, seeing, smells, and hearing colors. Okay, so there is a mix of senses like seeing, smells, and hearing colors. Uh, I don't know how this uh, can happen only if you experience it. You can know. So, it happens in LST. Hearing of colors and seeing of smells. So, is used for cattle uh, killing is prepared from arborist precatorious. Toxalbumin, ricin is obtained from castor seed. So, ricin is obtained from castor seed. Ophitoxemia refers to poisoning due to snake venom. So, this is Ophitoxemia. Polyvalent anti-snake venom is prepared by hyperimmunizing -immun horses. Again, it's venoms of cobra, russels, viper, common crate, and sarskill viper. That is polyvalent. So, how is it uh, prepared? Polyvalent anti snake venom. It is prepared by hyperimmunizing horses. Again, it's venoms of cobra, russels, viper, common crate, and sarskill viper. The most common type of uh, poison, poisonous snake in India is common crate. Just remember, it's not cobra, it's common crate. Common crate is the most common poisonous okay mm. priapism may be a presenting feature in case of spanish fly bite okay priapism can be a presenting feature in spanish fly bite hematuria occurs in bites by viper that is why it is hemotoxic and necrobras are neurotoxic spectacle mark on the dorsum of the head is an identification feature of common uh, cobra that is why in the hood it will be like a spectacle mark like like this it will be there so it's a identification mark of common cobra venom of crate is neurotoxic okay um, the viper is uh, hem, uh, hemotoxic uh, crate is neurotoxic okay luminescent uh, vomit and f uh, fecus are diagnostic of poisoning by phosphorus Okay, so if vomit and fecus are luminescent, then it is phosphorus poisoning. Fossy jaw is seen in case of chronic poisoning by phosphorus. So, fossy jaw is seen in chronic poisoning by phosphorus. Okay, parotid gland swelling occurs in chronic poisoning with iodine. So, parotid gland swelling occurs in chronic poisoning with iodine. Okay, uh, chelating agent of choice in arsenic poison is dimercaprol or ball so this is very important bit for arsenic poison use dimercaprol or bal okay yeah desferoxamine is a specific antidote for poisoning of iron antidote used in case of acute arsenic poisoning is freshly precipitated Hydra hydrated ferric oxide okay 
so for arsenic generally is dimer copper and ball okay desferoxamine is antidote for iron poisoning antidote used in case of acute arsenic poisoning is freshly prepared hydrated ferric oxide so for acute arsenic poisoning use freshly prepared hydrated ferric oxide test used for detection of arsenic is marsh test okay so test used for detection of arsenic is marsh test and uh, arsenic poison mimics cholera so there are many questions in arsenic uh, we just read like arsenic poisoning the uh, uh, drug of choice are killing agents is dimercaprol but in acute arsenic poisoning we give precipitated hydrated ferric oxide okay and antidote uh, for desferoxamine is iron okay and for arsenic we do marsh test so marsh test is for arsenic okay a is marsh test is for arsenic uh, arsenic poisoning mix cholera okay arsenic poisoning mix cholera velvety appearance of stomach is seen in acute poisoning with arsenic again arsenic velvety appearance of stomach is seen with arsenic rain drop type of pigmentation type of pigmentation is seen in chronic poisoning with arsenic so again rain drop pigmentation is seen with arsenic all rich mees lines is associated with chronic arsenic poisoning mixo well <coughs> So, mixoviruses like influenza virus are cultured and amniotic cavity, cavity and allantoic cavity of chick embryo. So, mixovirus like influenza can be cultured on um, embryo, amniotic cavity of uh, chick embryo, amniotic and allantoic cavity of chick embryo. Hemagglutinin and neuraminidase antigens are strain specific in influenza virus. Hemagglutinin and neur, neuraminidase, hemagglutinin and neuraminidase are specific in uh, uh, influenza okay heme agglutinin and neuraminidase antigens are strain specific in influenza viruses the type specific uh, antigen a b or c of influenza viruses is found on nucleocapsid protein okay so the type specific antigen of influenza viruses is found on nucleocapsid protein the principal reservoir for the generation of variants of influenza virus A due to antigenic ships or pigs, horses and fowl. So the principal reservoir for the generation of variants of influenza viruses that is due to antigenic shift or pigs, horses and fowl. Best specimen for the laboratory diagnosis of influenza is nasopharyngeal washings. Okay, best specimen for laboratory diagnosis of influenza is nasopharyngeal washing. Ray syndrome is most often seen with influenza B. Just remember, Ray syndrome is with influenza B. Okay, um, avian influenza is due to H5N1. Okay, para influenza virus is leading cause of croup syndrome. So, croup syndrome is caused by croup, is caused by para influenza virus so para influenza virus orchid is usually unilateral is the most uh, common complication in post pubertal males so orchid is is the most common complication in post pubertal males that to unilateral mumps infection is preventable by immunization lav using geril linstein so geril linstein is for mumps danish 1331 is for BCG, uh, yeah, it's a BCG stain. Okay, Warthin funicular cells are present in infection with measles. Okay, and Edmundston Jagrip test is also for measles. Most common cause of death in measles is pneumonia. So, I'll wind up with uh, this. Okay, I'm not repeating again. You just play the video once more because the time is very short. I'll come with the next video very soon. Thank you. Good luck.